Jax is gonna bring you numbers. Jax with the mess. I need this real On the Breakfast Club. I know they know the difference. Keep it a stack. All right, so let's keep it a stack. Bishop Whitehead found guilty on several charges. Um, he is the bishop of a small church in Brooklyn, for those who don't remember, but I know y'all know because he probably stole from y'all. Dang He's it. known for always showing up in full designer. I'm talking about Gucci out, designer, everything, every day. Um, he was found guilty of conning a church member out of $90,000, wire fraud, attempted extortion, lying to the FBI, lying to the members of the church, lying to the congregation, lying to God, and related charges stemming from three separate schemes. Mm. He's facing up to 45 years in prison in Jesus' name. Now, Christians, talk to me. How does the whole forgiveness thing work if you uh, steal from church members? As in, mm. if, you do, if, if you do it intentionally. Yeah, that's what, I just wonder. I just want to know. Only God can, can you, answer that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, only we, God. That's right. Because we cannot be answering for God. But you can't say only God can judge him, though, because he definitely got judged because he got convicted of all them charges. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. why God put judges in place. That's and right. that's why he is serving up to 45 years. Really? So be 45? Oh, he hasn't been finished yet, though. Yeah, he hasn't been yet, but yeah, he is... Uh, I don't know if it's 45. He's facing, he's facing up wow. to 45 years. 45. 45. Mm. Yes, yes, wow. yes. So, Can I ask the congregation to pray for me? If I'm, <laughs> if I'm Bishop Whitehead, no. can I ask my congregation to pray for me? Pray for me? Yeah, you can ask them, but what do you think the congregation will do? Some of them will pray for him. Some of them? I mean, most of them, if they are... Uh, I guess it's Christian. Christian, they probably would. What do you mean, you guess? Yeah, it's Christian. Yeah, Christian would. people. Yeah. Well, well, he's he's going through appeals now, but you know, I guess if he does what's right and give the people back or whatever it was, I, I'm sure they'll pray for him. All right? <laughs> Please. No. You give okay. me my money back is only because you got caught. Mm. So that's it. What if he just <clears> give <throat> back ten percent? <laughs> <laughs> you was a clown. Why is that mic up? That is crazy. Oh, All right. Anyway. Drake rumored to be dating Lotto's little sister. Rumors of relationship between Drake and Lotto's little sister, Brooklyn, are circulating. A video of them leaving a restaurant together hit the internet. There is no solid confirmation that they are dating, but between the video and some of Drake's bars on a recent feature have people convinced. Damn. And um, Yes, absolutely. And Drake is 37. Um, that's why, if it is true, they are receiving so much backlash. Well, Drake, per se, is uh, receiving the backlash. People are comparing their, that relationship to Drea and Jalen Green, saying men and women should be held accountable for predatory relationships. Drake is, uh, Drea is 39 and currently pregnant with Jalen Green's child. He's 22. So um, that's been a topic of discussion for the past few days. So let me ask a question. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just asking the question here. Yes, if you're 37 mm -hmm. and you meet somebody who's 21, mm -hmm. is that predatory behavior? If you're 37 and you meet somebody that's 21, I mean, no. If now, if they tell you they 21, like if you knew them since they were 16 or 17 and you uh, waited yeah, till they 21, on, that's different. On. But if you but just if you met, met them when at a club 21, or at a bar yeah. or somewhere else, okay. I mean. Like I said, when you say, oh, how old are you? Mm -hmm. and, and and the guy's like, oh, I'm 37. How old are you? Oh, I'm 21. Uh, okay. So what does that mean? So what, how do you proceed after that, Charlemagne? I mean, I've, I've, I've never been the type to like those super, super, super mm -hmm. age gap relationships. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I mean, the person's 21, they're a grown adult. Yeah, but it's the difference in mindset a lot of the time. I, that's, what, that's what I'd be wondering. I'm like, what the yeah. hell are y'all talking yeah. about? I need yeah. the person, if I make a Doogie Howser joke, I need you to know who Doogie Howser was. If I make a Wu-Tang reference, I need you to know who Wu-Tang was. And then what, I don't know Doogie Howser, but I do know Wu-Tang. But what, what what, what <laughs> what what I mean? but what makes it comfortable for people when you're talking about age gaps, right? Yeah. Because you just talked about Drake and, and, and Lotto's sister, Brooklyn, right? Mm -hmm. But then Beyonce and Jay, they're about 12, 13 years apart, right? Yeah. And then yeah. Heathcliff Huxtable and Claire Huxtable, they was about... Well, they're characters. They're ca but, they all right, not mine. How much is 37, 21? I'm not good at math. 16, Jesus Christ. It is? Mm-hmm. At 16 years, I know what's going on in yeah. there. Yeah. I mean, I guess for, for me, the biggest mm -hmm. thing is the, 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 the conversation. Yeah, it's just the conversation. Like I, like I said, there's certain references I'm going to make that I'm going to need you to understand. Yeah, and we can't have surface-level conversations That's all right. the time because That's you right. can't go deeper. That's right. You know if what I'm I, saying? If LL Cool J come on the radio and I'm like, oh, shoot LL, and then you be like, I didn't know he used to rap. Oh my God! I just like my son. Yeah, I, exactly. That's why I said okay. <laughs> you know what I'm For real? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn. But, but you know, the youngest might feel the same way. They might be talking about a rapper that they know about, or a singer they know about, or a show they watching. You like That's what the hell are you talking too. about? That's true. Well, both ways. Well, I don't know. I guess we can discuss that for another topic, but, or do something else. And I've also heard so many women nowadays say they like unk them. Old That's men. what they into. Old they men. Into the old men. Yeah. 
I'm hearing a mm-hmm. lot of girls say that. I like unk yeah. them. See, that's the thing. I tried to unk them, and he was acting like a nephew them. So I <laughs> went back to to your age, <laughs> my age range. Like I went back. What you mean to you try to act like nephew them? Because, like, just because guys are older, that does not make them mature. That does not That's make facts. them intellectual or anything. I Like, right. I need a guy that can lead and that I can learn from. Mm-hmm. Um, and at the same time, we can it, you can learn from me. You know what I'm saying? Because older people don't know it all as well either. But mm-hmm. I, I can't. It, it's give and take. Like, I can't mm-hmm. just be teaching you everything and you old. What? So, Let's no. Let's talk about this after Duncan. Mm-hmm. Yep. Tammy Rivera addresses Waka Flocka's new girlfriend. So Tammy Rivera shared a post to her Instagram and said, no one can make me jealous over a seat I had first. You wouldn't be sitting there if I didn't get up. Ha! Ah, I know that's right. So then Waka Flocka's new girlfriend thought it was a subliminal toward her, right? So she posted a message on her own Instagram, said, being washed up and can't let go of your ex is crazy. Mm. Okay. Mm. But this is the one, and she also said, this is the one because it's giving jealous and bitter. So then the blogs picked that up and started sharing that. And and Tammy responded to the blogs and said, man, I'm just waking up. It's 9 a.m. over where I'm at. Waka, we literally just talked about this last night, your morning. Waka, get her before I hurt our little feelings. Oh, by the way, that post wasn't even about him nor you, but hit dogs holler. You effing up your seat. Sheen Tammy. She called it a she and Tammy. T- a Timu Tammy would have sounded better because she she's um that just would have sounded better if she said Timu. But she didn't. Uh, a social media user then claimed Tammy only responded that way so people can know that she still speaks to Waka. But they have a whole daughter together, whether that is his biological daughter or not. Charlie is still his daughter. So they, they're going to speak. When Tammy saw that comment, she clarified uh, that she was still speaking to Waka. Um, because they're still legally married, which I didn't even know. The sort of divorce ain't even final. Um, she said, sweetie, we talked because of our daughter. And to be honest, we still legally married. So we have to because we have business that has to be handled together until them papers are signed. Grown people business. Now, I was going to defend Tammy here because she's in a relationship right now. Like with somebody I know. So she's in another relationship. And who knows that that original message that she posted. No one can make me jealous over a seat I had or whatever. Mm-hmm. She could have been going through something that her current relationship we know how women take the social media to express things when they're on you know in on and off again relationships but she posted something a little later saying that she's happy in her own relationship or whatever so it's like who was you talking about then you know but i do understand that we as women always don't post something that's related to us so that could have just been the one that she wanted to post and the little girlfriend got a little sour about it but either way you know, they not legally divorced, and I didn't know that. They still legally married. Mm. Mm. So, that's just what the mess. This ain't nobody got to understand. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's just what the mess in her news is real, allegedly. Mm-hmm. Now, Charlemagne, who you giving your down? Ka-choo! Man, before after the hour, we need Madonna to come to the front of the congregation. We like to have a word with her, man. Salute all our... Uh, <laughs> Listeners out there in wheelchairs, we appreciate you. Oh, my God. All right? All right. We, we riding with you this morning, okay? Mm-hmm. That's right. We right. what? We riding with them this morning. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. All right, well, Donkey the Days up next is The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.